Hello there and welcome to my channel. I will be doing a fabulous sketchbook tour of this year's sketchbook for you today. But first of all, I wanted to mention um, my cover here. So I actually decorated this a few months ago and I uploaded a video of the process and how I managed to create the cover. So if you're interested, there will be a link on the screen for you to check it out. And let's dive right into it. So to start off, this sketchbook took me about a year, which is, I think, pretty good for me because I usually take a very long time to even fill sketchbooks. But in this one, I happened to use it for the most part. I didn't really use any separate sheets of paper or anything. And um, yeah, I primarily worked in the sketchbook for all my finished paintings and everything. So a lot of these paintings are actually videos I have on my channel, like the left hand slash right hand challenge. And these are all from quite a while ago actually. Since this sketchbook was from 2016 to the summer of 2017. So a common thing I kind of did in this sketchbook is on this page I would do some weird thumbnails and then figure out the concept and colors and everything and then on this page I would do the final painting. So this is actually still to this day one of my favorite paintings I've ever done. And then again using the space to figure out the colors and all of that stuff and also to swatch paints and everything. I have a lot of like half started, half finished paintings going on in here. Also some just weird stuff. Yeah. Can you uh, just take a take a moment to look at this cute little guy right here? <laughs> Hopefully I'm not going too fast or too slow. I really like, I'm not a fan of this painting specifically, but I like when sketchbooks have like this border type type thing going on. It's just different from like the everyday full page painting. There's some creepy, I don't know what was going on there. Never finished it. Never bothered to. You also may notice, or maybe you don't, um, I have a lot of Steven Universe fan art in here. So there's Garnet and then the biker girl who doesn't really have a name, I don't think, as far as I'm aware. And I think this is probably the only dude person that I've ever drawn. Yep. This has like cool metallic finish to it. Woo! Pretty leaves. And some weird wizard people. And actually, let's see what, what was the date. So this was in September, and then this one was all the way in October. I mean, no. November, sorry. I don't know my dates. So I took a pretty long break, and then I finally got back into drawing and painting with this weird, very colorful person. Some cute little turdlies. And then I had this really cool concept for this, like, wintry witch person but it never quite worked out. And here's another thing. I tried starting this painting and then I tried to do it digitally, but it also just didn't work out too well. So of course I abandoned the idea. And then some more Steven Universe with Blue Diamond and these little gems in the background, which kind of look like pimples from far away. Uh huh. And then here's another full painting that I did. So I actually put a lot of work and thought into it. So I even printed out little thumbnails of it, practiced my different colors that I wanted to do. And then here's the original sketch. And then I have the painting elsewhere, but I also have a video of this up if you're interested. And here's just the sketch that I had. And then I cut it out so I can transfer it to actual water watercolor paper. Some weird sketches and everything. 
that I never finished. The two fish from Avatar, and I actually, it's right here. I started doing an acrylic painting of this, but it never got done yet. So maybe I'll finish this one day, maybe I won't. I don't know, so far it's been laying around for a good few months. And then this weird fishy, I've, I was really into fish at this time, can you tell? And metallic paints. So there's that. And then I was definitely going through some kind of like art block thing and I just didn't know what to paint so I just made a mess of inks and did some weird splattery, splattery type stuff. Once again some very weird shapes and colors and whatever. I actually did this blindfolded and it was quite therapeutic so I was just sitting there blindfolded for five minutes or so and I was just doodling. And then here's Haley Williams from the Paramore music video for After Laughter. Or no, was that the song? I don't remember the song, but yeah. Oh, and most of the pieces I have in here are pretty much all watercolor, and then maybe some other little pens or whatever. And then there's uh, Lars, pink Lars for that matter. And I tried doing some kind of weird like architectural drawings, but they didn't quite work out. And then I was trying poses and figuring things out here. And then some weird trees. And then finally, on the last page, I really like to add swatches of all of my paints and everything. So I have my ink tents. Um, I'm not sure, too sure what those paints are. And then I have my watercolors. And then some random tape in the back. Oh, and I guess I have some weird scribblies on the back there too so that will be all thank you so much for watching if you're interested stick around for more and subscribe and i will see you later toodles